today is Saturday and uh, it's game day. We're allowed to wear our our team of choice on every Saturday during football and basketball season. And um, today Kentucky is playing Eastern Kentucky. It is a home game. So one thing about Kentucky is we don't have any professional teams in the entire state. So we've got the University of Kentucky and the University of Louisville. And University of Kentucky is in Lexington and Louisville is obviously in Louisville and that's where I live. Now in Lexington, it's 100%, uh, I'm gonna say 99.99999% University of Kentucky fans. In Louisville, it's like 50-50. The University of Louisville is like the little brother to Kentucky. But there's more and more people moving to Kentucky, or there's more and more fans switching to Kentucky just because the University of Louisville has just it's been one scandal after the next. And their fans are just fed up but the university refuses to get rid of the head coach. And these scandals revolve around the head coach. And so it makes zero sense to keep this motherfucker, but they keep him on. I don't know why. And then the football coach. Petrino used to be Louisville's football coach years ago. You know, he's a good coach. The football team went places, you know, they won bowls. And the whole football program as today was built around him and his winning. But he left and went to, I don't know, some NFL team where he ended up fucking up and they booted him out. And then he went to Western Kentucky and was the coach there for like a year. And then the University of Louisville brought him back. But this guy had like two or three fucking scandals. One or two here at, at Louisville and like, when he was the NFL coach, he had a couple scandals. All right, so that covers the football coach. Scandalous piece of shit. And what are these fucking people doing? Hey, there's no stop sign. Let's go. I mean, Jesus Christ. Make up your fucking mind. Now, our basketball coach, he used to be the coach at the University of Kentucky. He brought Kentucky's basketball team. So this guy called and placed an order, and he asked if the driver could come into the garage and walk into the basement and then the steps are right in front as soon as you walk in the door to come upstairs because he'll be in the living room it's like <laughs> no we're not walking into your fucking house not gonna happen so the manager was like no we're not doing that he'll call you when he gets there the dude didn't want to fucking get out from in front of the TV because he's watching the football game. It's like, seriously, dude, come the fuck on. Really? So back to explaining the sports situation in the state of Kentucky. So the head basketball coach of the University of Louisville in the mid-90s was the coach for Kentucky. And... At the time, Kentucky had um, Kentucky had got caught. I can't remember exactly what it is, but basically the boosters were paying uh, players. You know, I, I don't know. So the NCAA came down on them and basically made them forfeit some games, and they couldn't play in the championship for like two years or some shit. So Patino came in and turned the program around 
you know, took us to a national championship, you know, made Kentucky not what it is today, but helped keep Kentucky status as one of the greatest basketball, college basketball teams. And so, you know, he swore up and down, he wasn't going to leave, wasn't going to leave, and then he fucking leaves. He goes to the NBA, I think he coaches it's the Celtics. He did terrible there, terrible. So after like, I don't know, 10 years, eh, 6 years, he quit the NBA and came back to college basketball. But he went to the University of Louisville, which is a big slap in the face to all of us Kentucky fans. Because Kentucky and UofL, big rival, huge rival. Kentucky fans hate UofL, UofL fans hate Kentucky. And we hate each other. You know, we'll be civil to each other. We give we give each other shit. We're not gonna beat each other up over it. But it has been known to happen. And so he goes to the University of Louisville. You know, great. Because they had a coach that had been there for like I don't know, 40 years and he was done. He brought the University of Louisville, two championships in the 80s, and he's done. His career was over two years after they got their championships, but yet he hung around and hung around and hung around, and he hasn't done shit. The University of Louisville's basketball team is kind of, nobody knew who the fuck they were, nobody cared. I mean, they were in Conference USA. Who the fuck is that? Kentucky fucking beat their ass every year. They didn't do shit. Patino came along and became the head coach of the University of Louisville. But you know, I'm thinking, eh, you know, that fucking sucks, that's a slap in the face, but good for Louisville. Finally, they'll have a good fucking basketball team. Which they have, for the most part. And they did win a championship in 2013. But there's been one scandal after the next with Patino. You know, he's fucking this chick in a restaurant, gets her pregnant, you know, pays for the abortion. Um, she blackmails him, the FBI gets involved. You know, the school, University of Louisville backs Patino, no problem, 100%. You know, there's got to be an ethics problem there. Because he fucked this chick in a restaurant after hours. The newest one is that one of Patino's coaches brought prostitutes in for the potential recruits and the current players. Well, current at the time. And Patino says, you know, he knew nothing about it. The fuck, man? Go back to Alaska. Tino said he knew nothing about it, which I feel like is complete bullshit. I mean, he may not know the details, but he knew some type of, you know, activity was going on that he, he doesn't need to know about. You know, don't ask, don't tell. Ignorance is bliss. Plausible deniability. So... Again, the university stands behind Patino and does nothing to him, nothing happens, they keep him, the school is, has all these penalties and they got their 2013 national championship pulled from them and it's never happened, ever. The NCAA has never taken a championship away from anybody, ever. For them to make that decision, there's some fucking definite proof that this shit happened. And not only that the head prostitute lady that pimped out her, her own daughters, and, and none of them are even attractive. That's the thing, they're fucking ugly. She documented all of this, wrote a, a diary, a journal, and came out. 
it's, it's kind of fucked up. Tino is the head coach. When the ship goes down, he goes down with it. But not with him, man. He is squeaky clean every single time. Which is bullshit. His hands are just as dirty. He needs to be gone. Gone. The president of University of Louisville, there were some major scandals. There were some discrepancies in the finances. It's fucking ridiculous. And the school is a... It's a burden on the city because of all the debt that it has created for the city that the taxpayers have to pay. The KFC Yum Center. The University of Louisville gets nothing but profit out of that place while the city can't pay its bills. And it's just, it's a horrible deal. It was a horrible deal from the get-go. And so, you know, the, the city's been talking about bringing in an NBA team but I just, I just don't see it happening. I mean, yeah, you know, they'll play every team away and home. So you're going to have, you know, the big names here. And people will want to go see that. But how much are these fucking tickets going to be? Because Louisville, Kentucky is, for being a pretty big city, is pretty fucking poor. The residents of Louisville, Kentucky are well under the national average when it comes to, I guess, pay or salaries. You know, there's a big reason why companies don't want to come to Louisville, Kentucky. It's because all the fucking taxes and all the bullshit they got to deal with. Just to employ people that live in the state, they need jobs, they need employment. But the state government makes it so hard for any mm -hmm. new co corporation to come into Kentucky and establish jobs. There's a lot of problems. A lot of politics involved and a lot of fucking bullshit and a lot of fucking scandals. And it doesn't start with the university. It, it goes all the way through the university and than our politicians, it's just, it's ridiculous. Come on, come on. I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, it's like worth living, should I blast myself?